Hi, welcome to the channel Too Rational. I'm Pranesh Sharma, and in this video, we are going to see booleans and if-else statement in R programming. This is part of a series where we are learning basics of R programming using R Studio. If you have not checked out the previous videos, please do so. Link will be in the description. Without any more delay, let's get started. In general, booleans are the statements that give you answers in two categories. It could be success, failure. It could be yes, no. But here we are talking about true and false. In R programming, we are only taking true and false. So we are talking about comparison operators. So the first one is equal to. So if I say 5 is equal to 4, you would say it is a false statement. But if I run it here, I will get an error. You can see error invalid left hand side to assignment because it is expecting here an object, but 5 is not an object. So whenever we are comparing two values, we have to take double equal to so that our programming understands that we are comparing and not assigning a value. So when I press control enter, now I get a false. Similarly, I can have not equal to if I say 5 not equal to 4, I'll get a true. So these kind of statements are called as booleans. So this is equal to this is not equal to so we can have less than I can say 5 less than 4 we get a false again less than we can have less than equal to so 5 less than equal to 4 this will also be false Similarly, I can have greater than 5 greater than 4. This will be true. And I can have greater than equal to 5 greater than equal to 4. If I run this, I get true again because it is greater than. So it is comparing whether it is greater or equal to. These booleans are very useful. Let's say if I have some objects, so let's say A is equal to 5, B is equal to 10, C is equal to 13. I can compare very easily. I can say A greater than B. I get a false. Similarly, if I say C less than equal to B, I get a false. So I can use these to compare statements. I can compare uh, values of two objects or a value with an object. I can say whether A is greater than 3 and I get a true. I can also use them to index and vector. So let's say I have a vector VC that is let's say 1 is to 10. Now if I want the values that are greater than 5, so I'll say VEC then square bracket, so VEC such that they are greater than 5. So VEC greater than 5. If I press control enter, I get values 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. We have talked about this before about this warning message. You should not worry about it. Whenever we have values that have more than one number, you may get such a warning and that is of no issue. So I can use comparative statement to call out specific numbers of a particular vector as well. We can combine two Boolean statements with logical operators. We have two of them. We have AND that is symbolized with the AND and the second one is OR which is symbolized by straight slash. You can use them 
very logically you can say if a greater than 5 and b less than 3 if only if both of these statements are true i will get a true otherwise i will get a false even if one of these statements are false or both of these statements are false i will get a false when i press control enter i get a false because a is not greater than 5 if i say greater than equal to then this statement becomes true but this statement is still false when i run this I get a false again. If I say B is greater than 3, only now both of these statements are true. When I run it, I get a true. So only if both the statements are true, I am going to get this as true. Otherwise, I will get a false. Let's talk about OR. So if I take two statements, let's take these two statements and combine them with OR. So I have the straight slash in between. When I press control enter, I'm going to get true here because both of these statements are true. But let's say if one of them is false, let's say I say greater than equal to seven. So this statement becomes now false. When I press control enter, I still get true because my first statement is false, but my second statement is true. So when we are talking about an or statement or a statement that is combined with or, when even if one of these statements are true, we get a true. So I'll get a false only if both of these statements are false. So this statement is already false. Let's make this also false and I get a false. This is the only case where I will get false. So even if one statement is true, I will get a true and only if both statements are false, then I get a false. We can combine as many statements as we want using these logical operators. Now let's talk about if else statement. The simple structure of an if else statement This is how we write an if else statement. We say that if test is true, I'll write true with capital letters, then statement 1 will run and if test is false, then statement Two will run. This is how an if else statement is structured. Let's see an example. So let's say I'll say a is equals to five. If a double equal to five, that means I'm comparing now. If a is equal to five, then our first statement. We'll print a is 5. And for else, I'll write else here and open another curly bracket. And I'll print a is not equal to 5. So these are the two statements. I'm comparing whether a is equal to 5. If that is true, then this statement will run. That is a is 5. 
else this is what I am going to run. So let's run this whole thing and I directly get a is 5 because a is equal to 5 but let's say I change it to 7 and now if I run everything I am getting a is not equal to 5. We can also have only if statement that means there will be no else. So if there is no else there is no statement to so I'll say if test is true then statement 1 will run if test is false then nothing nothing will run I'll show you I'll take the same example I will not put else statement and if I run this nothing is shown here because it tried it said a compare it to 5 we get false so skip this bracket so we are skipping the statement 1 and there is nothing after that so here you can see there is no answer so we can have if statement in such case when if statement is false it skips and goes to the next code if statement and booleans are very helpful in programming because it helps us navigate through many paths in the same code. We are going to see booleans and if statement in the next video as well where we are going to learn loops. That's it for this video and I am going to see you in the next one.